Hey everybody, Mongran Chris here, and welcome to part four of our Ace Combat 7 playthrough. Let's get right into the game and get started with this new mission. Hope you guys are liking the playthrough so far. This is probably one of my favorite, one of my top five favorite games that, that I've played in the last few years. So I'm always, I'm always down to play this. Oh, it looks like we're coming over the cutscene. Here he comes. looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arusha lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. Alrighty, mission four, rescue. The story in this game is questionable at times, but I like just think of it like a super cheesy That's 80s anime, you know? Of our previous strategy. The arsenal birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. 
However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. Oh, no way. After Who would have guessed? Through, <laughs> secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Alrighty. So... Yep. Looks like all the targets are on the space elevator. So let's jump in there. Let's check out the aircraft tree first, though, see if there's any parts I can buy. Let's see, prevents your aircraft from icing up at a certain extent. That'd be useful. More missile power, that'd also be useful. Missile reload. Uh, I don't need the A-10. Uh, F-18, let's see, what's missile reload? Has a standard missile homing capabilities. Mm, that might be a nice tree to go down. Pitch stability. Okay, can't really afford any of these yet, so let's go back and put on these new parts. The Nosferatu, of course. Whenever I play this game, I like to stick with uh, one plane through the entire playthrough. I just, in my head, it, that just makes more sense. But, you know. And then, there we go. So I'm getting some mods in. That'll, that'll help, but yeah. All right. Alrighty. Sortie, let's get this started. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Mission 4, rescue. Rescue the former president. Sure. Guess I'll do that. <laughs> Ooh, very cloudy. Operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. Okay. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Thank you. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. I'd just like to let you know that we're all counting on you. <laughs> Just trying to get up a little more. There we go. That works. Just using the yawn will help. The little, the, when I say yawn, the little flaps on the back that are kind of jiggling, that's what I'm using to steer right now. Gets a little bit more precise. 
since we gotta avoid the big radar circles. Sorry if my commentary gets a little quiet, I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm going to be uh, a little risky and take that little thin sliver section because I think that'll get us there quicker. I'm going to slow down though. I think we can make that little gap. Appreciate your commentary, Skykeeper, but can you not tell I'm trying to concentrate? <laughs> okay. Alright, we should have this handled. Just be careful with the turn. I think we're good. Alrighty, we're good. We're out of there. Awesome. Trigger, the first stage of the mission is clear. Now let's go blow some shit Trigger up. No. <laughs> Sea Goblin. Sounds like a D&D &D villain. <laughs> Half of the SAM sites are down. Half of the anti-air guns down. Missile away. Missile. H2, target destroyed. H2, walking. Probably gonna miss some of those, but... Oh, dang. There are still that there's a one AA gun. There we go. Boom. There we go. can get there. Okay. Rescue craft tag on. Initiate. I wonder if I can get there before they launch and blow them up. Ah, 
ready yet. Come on. Gotta catch up to this guy, come on! Speed! There we go. Come on! I missed them. One remaining. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose One. I've sent the information via the data link. <laughs> Even he thinks it's a bad name. <laughs> Last one. There we go. All UAVs have been splashed. All aircraft. Former President Harling's transport is ready to take off. Mother Goose One, take off. Let's wait till we're home safe. Those are famous last words. <laughs> Those on up, come on. There we go. I'm stalling, come on. I was trying to do too many turns.
respond. Make squad, assess the situation. See if those actually hit. No, oh, one of them did. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Mother Goose 1 has been shot down. He exploded. Where did the come from? Mitch 2 fired that. No, no, I didn't. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. The Rusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mitch 1. It's a trigger. The trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye in the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. But I didn't do it, I swear. <laughs> Ooh, achievement outlaw. Nice. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Because he's dead. <laughs> Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating the former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court martial. S rank, though. That's a plus side. <laughs> oh, got more. Okay, nice. So, that is it for this episode, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I will see you guys in the next video uh, for the next mission. So, yeah, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.